Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Okbayemi Owoshini. President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu has arrived in Oweri, the Imo state capital, for the second term inauguration of Governor Opu Zodema. Tinubu had earlier taken part in a reclaimed ceremony to mark the 2024 Armed Forces Remembrance Day in Abuja, landed in the state around 1 p.m. on Monday. The Nigerian president was accompanied by some officials and will commission projects in the state after the inauguration at the Dan Anim Stadium in Oweri. And the National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, is undertaking a comprehensive review of the guidelines for registration of ICT service provider contractors designed to streamline the process for the delivery of IT services to ministries, departments, and agencies of the federal government. Ed Corporate Affairs and External Relations of the Agency, Adiza Omar, in a statement, said these guidelines initially issued in 2018 outlined the registration process for indigenous IT service providers that guarantees the delivery of IT quality IT project to the federal government, uphold the highest standards of professionalism in IT services, and nourish the growth of local IT companies, all in adherence to the relevant presidential executive orders. And the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has advised Nigerians to report any strange movement around all power infrastructure across the country to security agencies. Adelabu gave the advice on Monday during the inspection of a transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, substation in Ayede, Ibadan. Adelabu emphasized that this is necessary to reduce the increasing rate of vandalization and destruction of critical power infrastructure in some parts of the country. And the former Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Issa Ali Pantami, said he's frustrated that Nigerian security agencies are not using the National Identification Number, NIN, and Subscriber Identification Module, SIM, linkage policy to track terrorists in this country. Pantami, who disclosed this in a statement via his official ex handle on Monday, said he tested the efficiency of the policy while in office to track criminals, and that the reason the Nigerian government finds it difficult to arrest terrorists and bandits disturbing the peace of the country is due to the relevant stakeholders failing to take advantage of the necessary policies. And on business, as the Portacot oil refinery comes to life, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, has concluded plans to hand over the government refinery to private operators. In a publication on its website on Monday, the NNPCL said the contract scope for the private operators shall cover refinery business processes like long-term and short-term production, operations planning, production and operation execution, monitoring, reporting, and optimization of operation, as well as maintenance execution execution, health and safety, environmental management, minor projects, and other areas as deemed proper. And Palestine's missions to the United Nations has criticized U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken for not mentioning some 24,000 Palestinians killed in the Gaza Strip in his post commemorating 100 days of Israel's war. Blinken's social media post on Sunday night only referred to the captive taken by Hamas, saying the U.S. has vowed to bring them back since 100 days of captivity in Gaza is far too long. Global calls to end the war has continued, with rallies held across the world and the U.S. capital seeing one of its largest turn out yet. And finally on spot, reports from the Super Eagles camp say 25 players are now in the team's camp in Abidjan following the arrival of OGC Nice star Terry Murphy. The striker took the place of the injured Victor Boniface on the team. Ose Pesaro's side will be up against Osco Dovra in their next game which is slated for Thursday. And that's it on the newsroom at this moment. Many thanks for joining us. I'm Okbayemi Owashini.